YouTube's copyright system is less functional than my grandpa's heart. And he's been dead for five years. You can follow every rule to ensure your video does not violate the terms of fair use. But at the end of the day, your video is just as likely to get taken down as top five epic Family Guy moments. Number two Family Guy epic moment is when Stewie make Lois yell. And this is very epic because Stewie trolls Lois and makes her angry. And I don't like Lois because she is stupid. Good job, Stewie. That was epic. It can best be described as a game of Russian Roulette. Except this time there are five loaded chambers and only one empty. Will your video get taken down? Will you get a copyright strike? Will some random filthy degenerate claim your video and profit from your hard work? Or will your entire channel be permanently deleted from the platform? Time to spin the chamber and find out. You may have noticed I used a copyrighted song in my intro. YouTube's algorithm picked this up and allowed the copyright owners to monetize my video. And this is an example of the system actually doing its job and improving the platform. But here's where the system sort of falls face first into a pile of shit. It is very easy to exploit. So easy to exploit, in fact, it makes GTA Online look like a solid game. Case in point, two GTA YouTubers recently got into some beef. It's Lala Gaming and Molecular Mage XD. Who are these people, you may ask? Good question. A lot of you may remember Mage from my older videos when I goofed on him pretty hard. His channel is sitting at about 1.5k subs at the time of making this video. He spends most of his time creating tryhard PvP guides, glitch tutorials, and being a drain on society. But his absolute favorite pastime is starting middle school tier drama with other GTA YouTubers like myself. In the other corner, we have Lala Gaming. Lala is the kind of YouTuber that relies heavily on the theory that loud equals funny. A good portion of her content can best be described as watching other people's content and reacting to it very loudly. <laughs> She hides her subscriber count, but judging by the views she pulls in, she's doing alright for herself. So, here's the situation. Lala is live streaming. Mage takes notice, rounds up the most epic gamers he can find, and drops off the battle bus right into her session. Anyways, Mage effectively ruins her live stream with his elite sniping skills. Mage then makes a 50 minute video showcasing him ruining her live stream and sprinkling in reaction clips throughout. Now this video was structured like your typical reaction video. It wasn't very good, but fell within the terms of fair use. Oh, shit. It ain't all me. Didi, Didi. Spit, spit, spit. Spit it out, damn it. Come on, Lala. Stop stuttering. <laughs> At this moment, most people would either ignore him, respond to him, or just laugh at him. But not Lala. Instead, she manually striked his video, effectively removing it from YouTube. And now the cracks in this system become very apparent. Despite the video falling well within the confines of fair use, Lala was able to get the video instantly removed with almost no effort. I can already hear some of you saying, why are you defending someone as toxic as Mage? You've literally called him a scum-sucking parasite in the past. It's true. I'm not the president of his fan club. I don't care for his videos, and I really don't care for the way he plays the game. So, if shit has gotten to the point to where I'm actually defending this guy, shit's gotten pretty bad. The bottom line is, Lala abused YouTube's copyright system to get a video removed that she did not like. Mage now has two options. He can take the strike and just let the video stay down or you can appeal it for manual review obviously this sounds like the better choice that's not always the case because if your appeal gets rejected you might find yourself in deeper shit than before so mage took the risk appealed it and he won his video was reinstated after it was deemed to be fair use and now it's back up for everyone's viewing pleasure if you have 50 minutes and are willing to lose a few brain cells, I recommend you check it out. Please note, you may develop a small amount of brain cancer, just, just a small amount, not a whole lot, 
for, not just a small cancer. Uh, okay, quick side note. When I watched this video for the first time, I honestly felt like I stumbled across some deep web shit. It's honestly filmed like a serial killer's manifesto. <laughs> Look, see, I can do it just like you, all. So there. Even I can be just like you. And maybe he's just trying to be edgy, but it just comes off as like the ramblings of an insane man who happened to sneak a webcam into his padded cell. That's for you, Lala. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting, but I it's just really hard to picture a scenario where a sane man sits down and makes these videos. But enough about that. We're not here to judge Mage's psychotic videos, but rather defend his rights to make psychotic videos. Lala, I'm not trying to bash your content or defend Mage's actions of ruining your live stream. He's an antagonistic person who baits people for responses. And you took the bait. You could have just left his video alone and you would have left that situation being the hero and making Mage look like an insecure man-child grabbing for attention. Any sane person who saw that video would probably just feel sorry for him. So wait, you're telling me if I don't hit the like button, you're gonna come to my house and beat me up? Come on now, let's do it. Roll up, pull up, do something. I'm gonna go hit that dislike button. But you couldn't do that. You had to retaliate. And you had to retaliate in the dirtiest way possible. You sank so far below his level, you're down there with the Titanic. And she just thought no one would care because he's just a tiny YouTube channel with a thousand subscribers. This video falls well within fair use. So if you try to strike it, Lala, I will fight it. And you may think Mage is a giant piece of shit. And hey, trust me, no one knows it better than me. But you can't just abuse YouTube's copyright system to remove his videos. It makes you the villain and him the victim. Mage is a professional asshole. It's really hard to make him look like the good guy. <laughs> but I guess I should expect nothing less of someone who has GTA Try Hard as, the, <laughs> as their YouTube banner. <laughs> I guess the purpose of this video was to shed some light on some of the more CD happenings in the GTA YouTuber community. And this shit is happening right now. Mage made another video reacting to one of her videos and she manually striked it again. You may have noticed I did not directly copy and paste any of her clips into my video. So I believe I'm safe from the impending strike. But who knows? Given the way YouTube works, my whole channel might be gone tomorrow. It's been nice knowing you people. Thank you for watching my video. Have an amazing day.